What do gastroenterologists treat? So gastroenterologists, uh, we treat everything from swallowing problems to digestive problems to bowel movement issues. So pretty much anything that you eat and anything that comes out um, we'll treat. Even, even liver issues, we'll treat that as well. Why is it so important for men to talk to their physician about digestive health? So digestive health is usually one of the first markers of something that may or may not be impending or bad that's going on. And so it's important for patients to let us know immediately if there's issues with either bowel problems, swallowing problems, heartburn or reflux, or even the presence of blood um, within their stool. That's also important for us to know. What are some of the most common digestive problems for men? So some of the common digestive problems, um, acid reflux is a really common issue, constipation and diarrhea. Those pretty much, those three are the most common. Every once in a while you'll see someone with swallowing problems, but usually acid reflux, constipation and diarrhea are the most common. What are some signs and symptoms of problems in the digestive tract that men should be aware of? If you're having really bad abdominal pain, that's been ongoing for more than several days or even weeks at a time. If you see the presence of blood in your stool or even black stools, or if what you're having at baseline, like let's say you have acid reflux or trouble swallowing and it suddenly gets worse and you actually notice it, that's important for us to let us know that, um, so we can help you immediately. At what age should men have their first colonoscopy? When you turn 50, I think we're the docs that people are least happy to see, but usually at 50 is when we start screening colonoscopies. There's only a couple of scenarios when you would have to do a colonoscopy before the age of 50, and that's if you have a strong family history of colon cancer, or if for some reason or another you, had a col you have a condition that prompts a colonoscopy sooner that's not related to cancer screening. Like let's say you have blood in your stool, then that would prompt you'd have a, a, a colonoscopy earlier than usual. Can you explain the process of a colonoscopy and what men should be prepared for? The worst part of the colonoscopy, surprisingly, is not the procedure itself, it's actually the prep the night before. So we give you this medication to help clean out your bowels. And I'll be honest with you, I wish it tasted better or was fun, but you know, it, it is what it is. So you spend the night before going to the bathroom, cleaning out your bowels, on the day of the procedure, um, you'll, we use anesthesia services at Parkview. And so you'll be completely asleep during the procedure. They'll monitor you as we do the colonoscopy portion, which is a, a colonoscopy uses a scope that at the end has a camera attached to a long tube. And that allows us to navigate and observe and analyze the entirety of your colon. The colonoscopy actually serves two purposes. We can look for signs of early cancer or polyps. And if we see a polyp, we can actually take them out at the same time. So you almost get two procedures in one. Why do men have a slightly higher risk than women for developing colon cancer? The American College of Gastroenterology and the CDC and the American Cancer Society, I mean, at this point, it's it's unclear. They just notice that there is just a higher prevalence of colon cancer in men. There's a lot of factors. I mean, um, obesity is one of them. Dietary, the Western diet, lack of energy. Those which are modifiable risk factors tend to put men at a higher risk than women. Even something as um, you know as common as even smoking and alcohol will also increase your risk for colon cancer. What are the risk factors for colon cancer? Risk factors for colon cancer, number one, if you have a strong family history of colon cancer, that will prompt you to do a colonoscopy probably earlier in life. Number two, if you have the presence of either bright red blood or black stools, that is a concerning sign to let us know that there may be something sinister that's going on in your colon that would prompt us to look and evaluate you a little bit sooner rather than later. What are some things men and women can do to have good colon health? You know, some of the things that you do is what, what you put in yourself. So that's the most important part is diet. I mean, if you tend to limit or avoid fatty or greasy foods, lots of veggies, you know, high protein, chicken breast, that's most important. Um, some of the studies out there do show that if you take a probiotic, 
whether that's in a capsule form, over the counter, or even something as straightforward as yogurt, that should also help to promote good bowel health as well. Is acid reflux a serious problem and does it need to be treated? So acid reflux will become a serious problem if it comes on later in life. So if you pretty much lived out your entire life, but let's say you turn 60 or 65 and then you just randomly develop acid reflux, that tells us then one of two things. A, you've either had it for a long time and you haven't sensed it until later in life, or maybe the symptoms have become so severe that now you're actually sensing the manifestation of acid reflux. So when it becomes that severe, or let's say you see your physician and you're not able to control your symptoms just with medicine, then that's something that you know, we need to evaluate sooner rather than later. How do you treat acid reflux? What the current regimen that's on or what the patient is currently on right now, if it's a pretty high dose of like an acid reducing medication like omeprazole or the other name of it is Prilosec, if that's not helping the patient, then usually that would prompt an upper endoscopy or an EGD for us to go down and look and make sure that there's no anatomic variation or there's nothing sinister going on within your anatomy that's causing you to have such bad reflux that we can't control with medications alone. What is an ulcer and how is it treated? How would a man know if he had an ulcer? An ulcer essentially is when you have acid damage that takes away the first several line, uh, layers of your stomach lining. Now ulcers can happen anywhere, but most commonly in your stomach, but they can happen in your esophagus and even the first portion of your small bowel called the duodenum. So essentially an ulcer occurs where your normal protective layer that you inherently build to essentially protect yourself against acid, that area breaks down and you have an ulcer. So now the more that you create acid just by the act of eating, you're gonna worsen that ulcer and, and make it bigger. And, and sometimes it can get deeper and, and cause complications. Um, how you treat an ulcer, if it's bad enough, then we would need to go down with our scope and do an upper endoscopy or an EGD and actually treat it with um, injections of epinephrine to stop the bleeding or to clip the area closed. If the ulcer looks to be chronic and it doesn't have any signs of recent bleeding, then we would treat with high dose um, acid reducing therapy like that omeprazole that we talked about earlier. Signs of an ulcer or peptic ulcer disease, sometimes patients will have really severe epigastric pain that has a relationship to eating. So either it happens really severe as they're eating or even sometimes after they're eating, um, that's when you notice the symptoms to be most pronounced, but they can have symptoms at any other time during the day as well. When should someone seek treatment for gastro issues? So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, um, if you notice anything going on with your abdominal, abdominal pain, or if you have abdominal pain, any constipation, diarrhea, any blood in your stools, or anything that doesn't seem ordinary, and it's become more severe, you know, you, I think uh, you guys should let us know immediately, call your physician as soon as possible, or I mean, worst case scenario is, please go to the ER so you can protect yourself.